Domestic workers are the backbone of many homes. The additional family member who's critical in keeping the household running smoothly but doesn't always benefit. Labour laws have been inclusive of domestic workers. Domestic workers have rights like all other workers in South Africa, though they are from a sector like no other sector as they work uh, as individuals. South Africa currently has the best labour laws for domestic workers in the world. Domestic workers are covered by the basic conditions of employment act. Domestic workers are also covered by the wage act. And domestic workers are also covered by the Labour Relations Act. However, in reality, there's a disconnect. The real question, however, is whether these um, laws um, or these labour protections are actually being felt by domestic workers on a day-to-day -day basis. And an argument can be made and the experience of domestic workers all over South Africa indicate that that is not the case. So, for example, um, domestic workers are covered by the Unemployment Insurance Fund, I mean, Unemployment Insurance Act, which provides for the in Unemployment Insurance Fund. However, um, the statistics on how many uh, domestic workers are actually registered and are able to benefit from the fund are quite low. Some believe they're not at risk of much harm. There is a misconception that domestic work does not come with occupational risks because it is in the home, a place of comfort. Um, however, this is not correct. Um, there have been many cases in the last couple of years where we've heard domestic workers experiencing occupational injuries. Unions attest to this. Domestic workers have been exposed and subjected to many forms of work-related injuries and diseases for decades. From dangerous dogs to dangerous chemicals, failing to the swimming pools, we have a domestic worker who lost his sight in her one eye because an acid fell in over her face while she was working at her workplace. We have a domestic worker who's crippled because she was washing the window, she fell from the stepladder. The employers took her to the hospital and told the hospital that they found him lying next to the road. As we are saying that domestic workers, their rights have been violated for decades, for years. Pre-2020, domestic workers were excluded from claiming from the compensation fund for work-related injuries. There many cases of domestic workers that now come forward that explain to us that they've been hurt at work but they had no compensation. That time we will now start a campaign to find domestic workers that have been injured at work and how we can assist domestic workers. Currently we also have a, a case in Durban where a domestic worker was drowned. We are now busy with the case. But at this stage, no domestic worker has yet been paid out or no domestic worker has been compensated when she hurt herself at work. Domestic workers were previously excluded from the Compensation for Occupational Injuries and Diseases Act, COIDA, um, which precluded them from claiming for occupational injuries or diseases that are contracted during the course of their work, um, which was a grave injustice. Um, on the 19th of November 2020, the Constitutional Court handed down a judgment declaring Section 1, um, 19, Subsection 5 of COIDA as constitutionally invalid. Um, they also um, ruled that the, the, this declaration of constitutional invalidity be applied retrospectively, which means that domestic workers with cases from 27th April 1994, when the interim um, constitution was um, introduced, are able to, to claim for, for, those, for those injuries. However, there are challenges with workers' retrospective claims. The way that retrospective claims will be processed is, is yet to be um, outlined by the Department of Labor, just due to you know, some of the complications that come with having claims that are potentially very old. Some of the issues that are there are that it may not be possible to um, find an employer, it may not be possible to find the medical records that prove the injury. So what we are really hoping for is um, a communication from the Department of Labor, which has, has, has indicated that 
um, in the amendment process of COIDA that there will be uh, provisions that speak specifically to the situations of domestic workers. Unions and rights groups are calling for an extension to the November deadline as well as more awareness campaigns for workers and employees. Hasina Gori, SABC News, Johannesburg.